Good evening all and welcome to another video on All Housing Ale. It's Friday night which means it's alcohol free beer night and the beer we're going for tonight is this one. It is Arbor and Mash Gang's Day Tripper. And yes, do not adjust your sets. This is a rather large can. It is a pint sized can and it is an alcohol free IPA and it says on the side of the can that uh, Day Tripper is a psychedelic haze of coconut and tropical fruit from Sister Hops HBC472 incognito and sabro cryo with a dose of cryopop bringing even more fuzzy fruit vibes this beer's short three cat squares and i love the fact that it is a pint can i love the artwork it's it's awesome and if you've seen the pictures of the beer on instagram and whatnot you'll know it looks amazing so Without further ado, we're going to get this out and into a pint glass. It's not very often I can say I can put a craft beer into a pint glass and fill it from one can. So we're pouring into my old man's pint glass tonight and let's get it open. It's excitable. Let's get it poured. The pour is... Look at that colour. Look at that. It's like pouring coconut juice. It's exceptional to look at now I've, I've poured a bit of a head onto that let's uh, let's get that knocked down and look at that <laughs> look at the color it's amazing it's I cannot see through it I literally cannot see through it I mean look my hand behind it nothing nothing at all it's amazing color it's yeah just looks like coconut milk ish with a little bit of a uh, little bit of color to it and the uh, the head isn't amazing but look at the color of the beer it's amazing let's have a whiff that's a strong aroma it is strong you've got you've got this really unusual aroma You've got coconut clearly from the Sabro. That that is its its thing. There is some citrus coming through. You've got it's a pineapple, but there is something really unusual in a good way. In a good way. I can't get over how it looks. I mean, I've seen the photos. I just didn't know if that was some weird Instagram filter. Um, but just look at it. It's yeah. Anywho, let's uh, let's top it off because I couldn't quite get the full pint in with the uh, head the way it was. That's clearly more than a pint in that can. Anyway, either that or this is an undersized glass. So it looks really, really cool and slightly bizarre. Smells really quite interesting. Let's go for a taste. Cheers. Tastes as interesting as it looks. So, it is crisp, it's clean, it's light on the body, it's refreshing. Let's get on to some flavours. It's genuinely like nothing I've tasted before. The, the coconut flavour is there. The fruit flavors are there. They're light, but there's something unusual that you cannot put your finger on that is really quite interesting and pleasant. There's something slightly floral about this beer. And I want to say almost smoky. messes with my head man to look at it I mean I it is without a doubt the most unique looking beer I've ever laid eyes on um, and that's comparing the reverse stout that um, oh, Team Toxic did not that long ago that was a white beer with a black head this is just one of those that's like what am I looking at 
The flavours, like I say, are really interesting. It's quite sweet. But there is a little bitterness there as well. Not a lot. And it's a nice dry finish. So, okay, one more time. One more time before I pop it down. And we're going to go to the scoreboards of Joy, which say that uh, Mash Gang and Arbor's Day Tripper has had 54 check-ins and an average score of 3.25. My scoreboard might look a bit different to that. It's currently empty. Let's give it some points, shall we? So, the looks. Let's be honest. This is a beer that looks like nothing I've seen before. I cannot the life of me think how I'm going to score this the color is totally out of this world the the opaque nature of this beer is just mind-blowing it doesn't look like a beer it really doesn't it looks like nothing I've seen before but as craft beers go it's hazy as hell it's an unusual colour. Normally I like my IPAs really dark, but this is intriguing. It's a talking point beer, and that's what this is, I think. I love the looks. I really do. I've got to give it a point. The aroma is the first place that you were... Uh, well, it's not really, no. The looks are. I'm, I'm lying. When it comes to the experience of a beer, you look at it first of all. Most beers look roughly the same. This looks different. The smell, the scent, the aroma is also quite unique. It's fruity, it's coconutty, but there is something there I cannot put my finger on. I don't know what it is, and the good people of Mash Gang and Arbor hopefully will be able to fill me in on what I can smell. It's like something ever so slightly floral, but there is something really, really unusual on the nose. I'm not sure what it is. I like it. It's got me interested, and that's an interesting thing. Beer doesn't normally get me interested. It gets me excited, but this has got me interested. I love it. Do I do I find it perfect? It's unique. I want more tropical fruit on the nose, though. I'm going to give it the 0.75. It's really, really good. It's really, really interesting. I just want a little bit more pineapple, mango, that kind of thing to complement the coconut. The body, like I say, it's light. It's got good carbonation. It's really quite well carbonated, um, but the body, like I say, is light. I still can't get over what I'm looking at. Light, excitable carbonation. It works. It's good. Could be better. I'd like a bit more oomph, but... I like it. It's going to get a 0.5 on the body. So I like normally a little bit heavier and a little bit less carbonation. The taste, though, the taste, again, is it's out there. Just like the can artwork, which, let's go back to it, you know, you've got the, the tie-dye as well as the, uh, the maple leaf there, you know, and, and the uh, band of bomb. It's, it's trippy. It really is. It's great artwork. And the taste is trippy as well. It messes with your head. You look at this and you don't expect to get what you do. You get the coconut. You get the tropical fruit in a light way. And you get... When you leave it on your tongue long enough, you get a floral edge. And that thing that you can smell is also present in the flavour. But you can't quite put your finger on it. It's really interesting. It's really nice. The flavour I enjoy more than I do the aroma. The aroma I really enjoy which means I'm going to give the flavour a full point. And the finish, very dry. If you like them dry, you're going to love this one. It's not sweet on the finish. The flavour is slightly sweet, but the finish is where you re retain most of the bitterness that is present, and there's not a lot of that, but it's nice. It's dry, it's hoppy. It's moorish. I can get the coconut on the back end as well. And the coconut... It's, it's a nice, sensible level of coconut. It's not overkill. It's so easy to overdo Sabro. This is done just about right. I'm going to give it 0.75 on the finish as well because I really want more bitterness from an IPA. But that said, it's 
really rather nice. So what have we got here? We've got one and two. We've got four out of five on the untapped scoreboard of Joy for Day Tripper from Mash Gang and Arbor. Easily one of the trippiest beers I've ever had, alcoholic or otherwise. I've got six of these. I'm going to enjoy them. I'm going to share the love though and uh, see what some friends think because I think this is out there. It's different. It's interesting. It will make you sit up and think, what am I drinking? It's really good. I like that. I like it. So, ladies and gents, boys and girls, we're at the point in the video where I'm going to say, that has been the beer. I've been Nick. Those down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got like, comment, dislike, and subscribe. Definitely let me know if you've tried Day Tripper in the comments section below. And I will see you again soon for another video.